that we've come here today uh, to do day two of uh, some trials is for uh, one is for the Hawaii under 20s uh, so the boys play a, a trial game today uh, those that are putting their names forward to uh, for consideration to go to Hawaii uh, and currently there's a female game uh, going on for the same reason yeah. so coach Taylor is having a look a final look at some of the girls uh, and I've had a Another look at some of the boys, so for the boys program, uh, they'll go through to stage three in January against the New Zealand secondary schools, and then at the end of that um, uh, third phase, uh, then we'll announce the under 20 boys team to uh, go into a tri-series in Hawaii against Australia and Hawaii. Yep, so uh, what, what we've noticed, and particularly again what I noticed this year, is we've got this really interested, attentive group of young men coming through but kind of some of them have been around since we were under 14s about four or five years ago uh, but, but what is also really exciting is this following um, graduating group that's coming through are now being joined by um, a new emerging group that have been watching and now are starting to come and join so we've got this kind of old familiar faces that have kind of been part of the system part of the mechanism coming through um, They've been so good at what they've done, they've actually provided us an even better profile for new players that have been sitting on the sideline or sitting on the bench, wondering is this thing actually a real thing? And now there's a lot of new faces actually now starting to turn up. Some of them are very good. So it creates quite a, it's starting to create a bit of a congestion, um, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Um, Good in the, in the fact that our profile as Māori football is growing, a tough thing for a coach because now um, uh, we know the boys that have been here before, we know what they can do, we've been very pleased at what they've been doing. Um, now there's a convergence of um, old and new and uh, the coaching staff now have to figure out um, can this new group create some chemistry and connectivity with this group that have been emerging and coming through. So it's, um, it's exciting, but it's also very challenging at the same time. I just asked them in the changing room because I didn't really want to coach them today because again, they had to show what they've already, their, their knowledge base, they need to show us that and what they're coaching, what their football environments are teaching them. And, um, and really just asking them, can you find some connectivity or connect, can you connect with each other on a football sense? Can you create um, some chemistry, some emotions, some feeling and anything like that? Because this is the chemistry that we need to have. Um, if you have some creative flair in you, today is the day where you pull it out because there's no, there's no boundaries for you today. All right. Um, and, and I saw all three come out today. So it was really exciting, yep, yep. even with the new guys. So that was really the kind of the pre-game speech, was just really around those three things. And then handing it back to the players to now um, go away and, and try to achieve those things in the game. Yeah, it was cool, it was very cool. Yeah, so what we found in the past is like, um, the playing squad numbers, it's really important to get that right. Okay, too many means you've got too much management. Players um, don't get enough game time. They have to show their wares um, at that international level. Uh, so we've reduced it down from 20, what we usually take. Uh, so we've reduced it down to 16, so that everybody that goes will contribute majorly to the, uh, to the campaign. Um, and this is really good for us because um, I'm always mindful that um, we still have to fundraise, so there's still a kind of a user pays element and with anything that you buy or pay for, you want some return on value, you know, so people are doing major fundraising and Hawaii will, will, will require us to do major fundraising. I don't want anybody coming away from the tour going, well I didn't quite get enough time or didn't quite kind of get value for money with my fundraising efforts. So we've looked at that as also a part of the overall selection because when they go we want them all to be there knowing that they have to all contribute and everybody will be contributing.